tell me about the last one. What was the one? There had to be something that that shook you whenever you were having this dream, because usually, you know, you hear the stories about people having dreams, and they and they see the different stages of everything, even death, you know, Satan, and all that other stuff like mm -hmm. that. So I know. Was there something like that for you? Was there something that scared you? The third dream, definitely. Well, this actually was not a dream. It wasn't a dream. This was a vision. A vision, okay. The third experience definitely uh, shook me up a lot more. Um, the first two was very personal. The, the, the third one was more of a... Um, this is... I, I'm showing you this to, to tell other people, I feel like. The third one was a vision that God gave me. He gave me a vision of hell. Mm -hmm. And, whew, I, I can just remember um, there was one night. It was me, my mom, and my niece. And on Monday nights, we, uh, we walked around the house and prayed, praised God and worship. So we would worship God and praise him and walk around the house. On this particular night, now we had been doing that for, uh, you know, prior to that. We had been doing that a few times. But on this particular night, uh, we were praising and worship, wor worshiping God. And I was in my room worshiping God. You know, we were all in our individual places worshiping God, you know, personally unto God. And I can just remember me closing my eyes and, and praising God. I'm kneeling on the ground, kneeling on the ground, praising God, worshiping God. And I remember when I closed my eyes, I began to see a vision. In the vision, and now just imagine closing your eyes and just seeing a vivid picture. That's the best way I can explain a vision. You close your eyes and you can see a vivid picture of something. There's an image there. And when I closed my eyes, I had a vivid picture and image of the lake of fire. So... What I saw was a, like a big open space, but it was fire there. And as, the, as my eyes are closed, that's what I'm seeing. And then I see a person. And what God was showing me there was the lake of fire. And he showed me a, a, a person to, the, uh, to, to show me um, that that's... That's basically where people would go. That's basically it. God could have shown me a whole bunch of different people, or or He could have shown me a whole bunch of different things. But He showed me a person, and that let me know that's where people would go. And He He showed me the person, and and as I'm saying this, I begin to start to scream to the top of my lungs. I, I'm screaming. I mean. In the vision, I see the vision, but I'm screaming, like, outside of my own mouth. I'm screaming for real. And the reason I started screaming was God allowed me to spiritually feel what somebody would feel if they went to hell. God, God showed me, and he allowed me, to, he allowed me to feel, like, what, what it would feel like if somebody went to hell. And so I continued to scream to the top of my lungs. I, after I had this experience, you know, I, I, I told different people and posted it online and everything like that. But I could describe my scream as not someone screaming, like somebody screaming because they're being burnt alive. It was more of, of a torture scream. And I, could, I can just remember screaming, 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 screaming. And God allowed me to experience that so that I may tell somebody else, so that I may, because I had, I, I was saved at this point. Mm -hmm. I was saved. And so he was showing me this to tell other people and to let me know, you know, this thing is real. Because um, sometimes people get saved and they forget, you know, hell is real. Or sometimes people who are not even saved, they don't even know that hell is real. You know, so God gave, definitely showed me this. Definitely showed me this. Showed me what the lake of fire showed me that that's where uh, someone would go if they went to hell. He he allowed me to it, uh, feel like a uh, feel in a way where I was screaming to the top of my lungs, so that 
that was just yeah i can also remember um after this experience after me screaming i heard in my ear tell everyone And and this is one of the main reasons why um, you know, trying to be very verbal, trying to be very open with some of the things that God has shown me because it's definitely impacted me and I'm pretty sure it will impact other people because it's very much real. Very much real. And was that was that was that was that all your visions that you got? Um God does give me uh, visions of different things. But this particular vision, I know I, I need to be very verbal about. I'm supposed to be very verbal about. Because even at the end of that vision, he said, tell everyone. So I just want, you know, people who may not believe hell is real, people who may not be saved. You know, I just want to let everyone know, you know, that uh, God is definitely real. That um, heaven is real. Hell is real. Uh, hell is not meant for you know, us, but hell is the the consequence or the eternal consequence of what you know where you would go if you you not you know living I guess living to a place where you know you at peace with yourself. So that's why I'm just you know being open about it. Okay, that's uh that's very. Uh, that was a that was an eye opener. Um, anything else you want to share with us today? Um, I feel like God gave me that vision because, um, not only because I'm young, but because I I think he he know I would you know open my mouth and say something. He know I would you know tell others about it, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, that it will impact somebody because I'm pretty sure there are certain people that have maybe even received dreams and visions as well and, and they haven't said anything or maybe people who God may be calling just as God called me too that's what the rapture dream was God was calling me he was calling me out of the ways I used to be and so um, yeah if, if there's anyone that had received any dreams like that take heed to it any visions like that take heed to it and, and tell other people about it um, I, I think God definitely desires us to be verbal about Jesus Christ he desires us to be verbal about being saved and um, seeking him I think there's a lot of distractions out there in the world right now a lot of vanity people are worried about vanity about you know um, getting you know money or famous or different things like that I, I, I feel like th those are distractions and God is desiring us to wake up and pay attention again and, and draw closer to him okay so so you have that book there what's that uh, what's that book about see uh, uh, God has given me a book it's called The Journey of a Sinful Girl and basically I wrote it and it's my testimony Mm. Everything like that I experienced and I went through, um, God gave me the words to say and put it in the book. Oh. Uh, two of those experiences, both of those dreams, the rapture dream and the heaven dream are in here. Nice. And, and I wrote this book and I'm, I'm, you know, hoping that it may get to the right people, whoever needs to read it, whoever needs to, um, you know, understand some of the things I've been through that it may help them in their journey also.